If Master and Apprentice would be your ultimate waifu, then Dark Disciple is the book that blows you at the in the alleyway in the behind the bar and gives you fucking gonorrhea. God damn is this book terrible. Dark Disciple is a book written by Christy Golden and by quite frankly it's one of the most insulting books I've ever read in general. And that's saying something from someone who's had to read stuff that the California public school system deems literature. No, I will argue all day that Catcher in the Rye is not literature. It's just bad writing disguised as being clever. But I digress. Dark Disciple is about the Jedi Council deciding, huh, Count Dooku, we're going to execute that motherfucker. Yeah, and don't worry, the explicit tag is back in style here. Uh, so they, they send the darkest of their Jedis, Quindlin Voss, which has not ever been established as being dark in the new canon. That's a holdover from Legends, but we're going to get into the whole Quindlin Voss plagiarism. In this book. So Quinlan Voss can't do it alone. So he talks Ventress. Asajj Ventress. Bounty hunter now. That took a bit to get used to. Also his hair. Also took a bit to get used to. Into helping him. Kill Count Dooku. But Dooku has plans of his own. What happens in Dark Disciple? Nothing. Nothing happens in Dark Disciple because it's a Clone Wars book. And it is very much a Clone Wars book. So the story when Dark Disciple came out was this... This was a couple episode story arc of Clone Wars. This is going to be season six, I do believe. Because as you all know, season six was really... is a half season. They had half of it animated and ready to go. Uh, they had a couple seasons of script and recorded audio and dialogue but not enough rendered stuff at least this is going off of actor interviews but dark disciple was given to christy golden christy golden's written star wars books before i reviewed inferno squad for instance that's on the that's up on the channel but she also wrote some eu fate of the jedi specifically she wrote several of those books which those are, a, that's a good series. You should check that out over this. But Dark Disciple is a very offensive novel. Like I said, it's the gonorrhea of new canon. I can tell you that much. Because the way Quinlan Voss is written is baffling in all regards. So it's no secret that I... I'm a big fan of the Dark Horse Star Wars comics. I've been since I was probably eight years old. I used to pick them up and I used to like page through them in Borders back in the day. And so I kept up on Clone Wars a little bit doing that. And eventually my parents started buying these comics for me and I read them. So I was very, very fond of Quinlan Voss and his story arc with Count Dooku in Legends which I think is just a beautiful story arc. And I was a big fan of the uh, Republic comics that uh, were written by John Ostrander and illustrated by Jan Rizzo. I think, well, it was their character. Quinlan Voss was their character. They created him from day one. And in this book, not only does Christy Golden give no mention of either of them in her foreword. But Katie Lucas has an afterword. And she doesn't say jack shit about either of them. And I found it fucking offensive, quite frankly. Because they give Dave Filoni credit for Quinlan Boss. Dave fucking Filoni. Who ruined the character in Clone Wars. And... I just found it fucking baffling that that happened. So, what was the point of this book? The point was to kill Asajj Ventress. It's done in a stupid manner. 
You don't feel bad for her because she's been a pain in the ass character throughout Dave Filoni's Clone Wars, and you've grown to not like her in general. She has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. But Quinlan Boss falls to the dark side and becomes Dooku's apprentice, but it's not established at all, and it's supposed to be like, oh, whose side is Quinlan Voss on? And it's like, no one gives a flying fuck. Just end this fucking book. This book was so fucking terrible. I read a total of three books while trying to read Dark Disciple. Three fucking books. Literally one of the worst books in general that I've ever read. And I, I keep saying that 2019 has been a bad year for reading, but when I have to read fucking gonorrhea herpes AIDS like that, then fuck, you, need, you better believe that it's been a shit year for fucking Star Wars. My fucking god. This book gets a zero out of five. Don't read this book. You'll be angry if you do.